Hi there, it's Shell with Little Acres Creations, and today I am using the Party Goat stamp set. Now this was the very first stamp set available at Little Acres Creations. So through the month of April, this is our second year birthday, we will be showcasing some of the older stamps and just show you guys some of the stamps that we have. Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on anything. The first thing I'm doing is just cutting down some Nina cardstock. I'm cutting that down at four and a quarter by five and a half. And that way it will cover my whole the whole front of my card. And I am using some faded jeans distress ink. And I just tore my piece of paper just kind of like in a cloud shape. I just wanted some texture on the background. And this, you know, it's really simple to do that so just kind of cut out your paper and then just kind of go over it and it just kind of looks like clouds on just a a nice day so then I am going to just print the little girl goat I think she is so adorable and I am just going to go ahead and use my uh, lawn fundamentals black ink that's still my favorite ink and I'm going to use Copics on this so it is Copic friendly and I'm going to just ink that stamp it out on my white and then also I picked out a uh, kind of like a little plaid piece from this pack of paper that I recently picked up and I'm gonna go ahead and stamp the little goat on here too because I want her little tutu to have this really cute plaid paper and then I'm just using a die set that I picked up from Lawn Fawn and it's kind of like a grass die set and I'm just going to cut it out of some just plain green cardstock and it I think this is like a addition to another die set but this is the only one I had I don't have the other one so I just made it work for me and I think it turned out really cute and so the little goat will be jumping kind of like in the grass on this little <laughs> grassy die I think it just is so adorable so then I'm and then I am going to color up this adorable little goat using some Copics and I'm just gonna put that to music and when I'm done there I'm just gonna trim around it just leaving a small white border all the way around and when I'm done there I will come back and we will start working on putting our card together And now I am just taking some white Nina cardstock paper 
and I am just cutting that in half at four and a quarter. I end up doing it long white long ways so that the card opens from the from bottom to top. But you can do it, you know, the other way, and you can have uh, other cards. So that's a nice tip for you. And then I'm just going to adhere my blue sky, and then I will adhere my grass. Sorry, I'm out of frame here. I do fix that in a few minutes, a few seconds. Anyways, I am using some foam dots and that little tutu that I cut out, I am just attaching that using some foam dots. And I will also use some foam tape and attach the goat. And then I have these really cute little flower punches that I recently purchased. And I'm just cutting out some pink, some purple, and some yellow flowers. I really wanted this to be a spring type card. So I am just punching those out. And I went to, I kind of got some distress inks that kind of match the color of the flower. So I am just using like an orange marmalade, I think for the yellow one and I end up just pressing the flower down so that it kind of uh, gets a little bit of dimension and then I'm using picked raspberries for the pink and then I think some kind of lavender for the purple I can't remember the exact shade that I did and then I'm just going to use my pen and I just picked up a ballpoint pen and I kind of want to give them just a little bit of dimension. So I'm just kind of squishing them in my hand. I don't have like a foam plate or anything like that. So I'm just kind of squishing them in my hand just to give them a little bit of dimension. And then I will come back with some enamel dots. And they weren't really sticking very well. So I use a little bit of art glitter glue to just put those down and just to make sure that they didn't go anywhere. And now I am just adding my flowers just all over the grassy area and I'm using attaching some using the art glitter glue and then I'm using some of these little foam dots just to make some of them pop up and give them a little bit of dimension. I hope you enjoyed this card. If you're interested in the cute party goat stamp set then head on over and pick a set up at littleacrescreations.com and as always, that link will be below.
the set is limited so once it's gone it's gone thank you guys so much for watching be sure and hit that subscribe button below you guys have a great day